after defeating Burn's remaining troops, Roy enters the Dragon Sanctuary. He searches for the Dark Priestess to prevent a repeat of the scouring. Here in the Sanctuary, Roy will learn the truth of the legendary dragons. All he knows is about to be proven wrong. Okay, so let me just say, this chapter looks like it fucking sucks. Not even gonna lie. And as you can see, right off the bat, we have mana cats to deal with. <sighs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. This is the final chapter before the finale. If you have legendary weapons, use them. Trust me, every enemy in this chapter is a mana cat. So, don't be... Don't be hesitant about abusing ultimate weapons anymore. Because we gotta use them for something, right? And that's what we're here for. Unfortunately, here's the thing. You only get 10 units, and Faye has to come. No question. She has to come. So you only really get 8 units. And you want to make sure they're the only units that have legendary weapons and or worm slayers. I accidentally forgot to take off the fucking red gem. I'll have to sell my red gem and buy more physique staff, so... Yeah, it might be kind of fucked here, so... <laughs> That's gonna be great. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out Astor. We're gonna play Percival. Because... Movement. I like it. I like having movement. I'm gonna give Roy some stuff. I buy elixirs for a reason, so we're gonna take some of those with us. How many did I buy? Three. Fuck me. I'm gonna give him the pure water, too, for a special reason. I don't think I have anything else I can give him. Like, now I think that's really gonna be any use whatsoever. I have a nine use Worm Slayer, but primarily we're just gonna be relying on the Binding Blade anyway. Faye's got her Divine Stone, and her stats don't really matter that much to the point where I should give her an item. You have Dorundle, and you already have an Elixir, you have Mergulies. You don't have a Legendary Weapon, so we'll give you an Elixir too, and the extra Worm Slayer. So we'll give you an elixir, take that killer axe, but I can't use it. And we'll give you this worm slayer. Melody's got Maltet. I'm actually gonna give her an elixir because she really needs one, because yeah, if she can't kill a guy in one hit, that's bad for me. Douglas has Armadas. Cecilia has four boys and she can heal. Nime has Apocalypse and she can heal. Well, actually, real quick. Do I have any please tell me about one one physique? I did, thank god. I'm not totally terrible. I'm also gonna give her the Saint Staff, because out of every one of my units that I'm bringing, she's the closest one being able to being able to use this stupid thing, and it's probably gonna save my ass. So I'm gonna take out the Flux, and I'm gonna give her the Saint Staff. I just need to pray to God you'll die. And we'll give you... a Mend. No. Just give me the other Physique, too. Because Cecilia has my... Well, actually, no. Take that, and take the outfire. We only really need four blaze, and I'm gonna take the hammering and the barrier for a very special purpose. Percival's fine. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. All I'm gonna use from him is the freaking worm slayer. I've got a healer, so we should be fine. So, how this chapter works is that we have to seize multiple thrones. When we get to the last one, which is all the way up here, then we're done. But we have to fight our way through high HP mana cats. Yeah, is that great? Ain't it great? Yeah, it's totally great. But yeah, so let's jump right into it. We're gonna move you over here because my, you know, my units on horseback, except for Cecilia, don't have legendary weapons. And I'm gonna move Douglas to the front because, you know, he's got like no movement. Nime doesn't really either, and I can't move Roy, so I'll just do it like this. There we go. So let's save the game, and let's get it on! It's quiet. This is the Dragon Sanctuary. The air feels strange. Did the eight legends fight under these conditions too? You humans stand against us once more. What? Who are you? 
When did you? I am John. I am the last true dragon of the Dragon Sanctuary. The last true dragon? You do seem different from the other dragons. Are you the demon dragon? The dragons you have fought thus far are war dragons. They know nothing but battle. The demon dragon too is quite a different being than I. I am a pure-blooded dragon who fought your you humans in the distant past. The demon dragon is a different being. I thought the demon dragon was leader of their kind. The demon dragon is nothing more than a tool to rally us dragons. It is hardly what I would call a leader. What? What exactly is the demon dragon then? There is much you don't know, it appears. What is the demon dragon? I want to at least know what it, what it is we're fighting against. Hmm. I have no reason to tell you. But then, I have no reason not to tell you either. What to do? Uh, tell us. Very well. A test! Are you worthy of hearing the truth? I am way too deep within. Fight through the hordes of war dragons and come to me. Do that and everything will be made clear. You're deep within, but you're right here! What you see is an illusion, a projection. Come if you want to know the truth. Prove yourself worthy of my time and I shall tell you all. Alright, so we gotta prove ourselves, huh? Let's get going right away. This is gonna be a brutal one. So I got. F so the dragons we've been fighting are just war dragons. Nothing like super small. Oh my god, this is gonna be annoying. This is the narrow path. I really should have considered where I put my units, because we already know Douglas is gonna take 5,000 years to get to where he needs to go. And we need Roy to seize the thrones, which really sucks. Can't just have any old unit take him. It has to be Roy. Alright. Let's equip our Worm Slayer. They're gonna come to me, or are they just gonna sit there? That music, though! Alright, let's get a unit in there who can probably take a hit. Like Douglas, he's got Armadus equipped. These dudes still do have one movement, so I should be safe. That's the fortune part we got going here. So let's get everyone in there. Like you, Faye. I'm gonna put you to work since I have to use you. Get Percival in there. And Cecilia. Cecilia can like, kinda just like go in right now. But that's suicide, so I'm not gonna do that. And then Roy carries the here. They're not coming after me. Alright, let's just move on in. Like this. And then we'll get Wolf in there. And Percival. I'm kinda just trying to move slowly so that I can pick up these first two mana cats with no real problem. And then just have everyone start making their way towards the next one. Okay, there we go. Now you're attacking me. So what you doing? FIVE! Wow. You don't even kill- I don't even kill him either, which is kinda sucks. Okay, do I double him or do I not? Because of course I don't. No, of course not. Why would I? Alright, well that's a good sign if they do literally no damage to Douglas. Cause that's just one quick heal- one quick heal. Even if they hit him indefinitely, you're dead, actually. Dead. Good. Good work, Douglas. I can have, like, Roy or someone kill this other mana cat. Alright, so Douglas, keep on moving ahead. You too, Deke. Get someone who can probably kill this dude. Like, Roy! With this Lance Reaver. He actually does damage to it! Oh my god! <laughs> Get him, Roy! I crit it! <laughs> I crit it with a Lance Reaver, that's cute! Okay, give me that free level. Okay, yeah, that was amazing, oh my gosh. Alright, now it's time for you. I could double him, or I could literally just blow him up with Mergulies. I'm gonna blow him up with Mergulies. One... Bye! 
This is gonna be so fucking easy! I literally just erase these guys from history with one with a couple good hits. Alright, let's keep on moving. I'm gonna heal up Douglas with a physique. Cause if he's gonna be on my front line and he's gonna be taking the hits, then I really want him to like, you know, be healthy. Alright, Melody, you can, you can go on up. I just want everyone to get moving first, so that way I have Roy cease the thing. And I need to be careful, because more mana cats do spawn in. Alright, Faye, you have, like, no movement at all. Alright, they're all dead. Cool. So, get going, boys. And then just have... Oh, come on. We'll have Percival... We'll have Alan stay behind to provide support for Roy. Well, everyone else just keeps going on ahead. Actually, Melody, you can kind of start getting up there. And then Wolf, you too. Faye, you definitely need to go. No, let's test it here. here. Nope, it has to be Roy, and that really sucks, then. Let's get everyone over here first, and we'll wait. So that way we can just charge right in. Good. Like this, and we'll like that. And Faye like this. And Alan will just hang out there while Roy waits for now. Now let's see something. I get my HP back because I'm off flown! <laughs> That's cute. I'm not gonna equip the binding blade, but let's see this. Is this really the you this time? Oh, this is but the beginning. You have quite a way ahead of you yet, but you didn't perish immediately. That alone speaks of to your ability. We have gone through many trials. We will not die here and let it be for naught. So you say. Allow me to tell you a little bit about the Demon Dragon. The Demon Dragon is not the leader of the dragons as you thought. The Demon Dragon was created to bring us victory. It was created? So it wasn't the Demon Dragon who was making dragons. The dragons you speak of are in fact soulless war dragons. As I said before, they are different from pure dragons such as myself. The war dragons are indeed created by the Demon Dragon. The Demon Dragon was formed from a Divine Dragon, the most powerful of our kind. It was formed from a Divine Dragon? The Divine Dragon agreed to become the Demon Dragon. Agree? Ha! No. We destroyed its very soul to extinguish its will. Wow! It is a mindless drone intended to heed our every word. Wow! You what? We desperately needed the power of a Divine Dragon. The survival of our entire species was at stake. What? You needed the power of a divine dragon. So, you destroyed one soul? Do you wish to know more? Come further. Show me your strength. Oh, hi there, guy right there in the, in the freaking middle of the way. Wow, that's dangerous as fuck. Okay, so... Can I kill you? Yeah, definitely. You're dead. Bye. Bye! Look at his HP's fucking drop! That's hilarious. Good work, Douglas. Nice frontliner. Alright, so we still got two more here. One's level 8 with 50 HP, and one's level 8 with 51 HP, and the other one's level 13. I mean, I can't reach them, but... Let's just hang out. Get Nime move in there. And then Faye like that. Alright, there we go. You gonna come after me? No. Okay. Douglas, can you kill this guy? Um, no, actually. Wait, what's your hit rate? 52! Jesus Christ, Douglas! Alright. So, can we just charge right in and kill you? 
Not with that. With this. You're dead. Bye! <laughs> Just erased him. Got like no experience of nility. She's almost level 20. That's kind of hilarious. Okay, so which does slowly move me, mate? Because she's not exactly, you know, good or anything. And we'll just put in Parsable like this, not like that. You have to learn to play good. Celia can kind of come like this. And then we'll can do. And then we can just have Alan continue to cart Roy along. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's coming after me. Speaker coming after me. Hi there, pal. 19! I mean, you're still dead. Ow. Bye! Wow, this is so easy, even though they hurt a lot. I have two healers, though. Alright, Nime. Show them how we do it. Use the most. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Time for the longest animation in the game! Jesus Christ, that was a little overkill, don't you think? Whatever. Alright, that was. Mr. Funliner, get going. Okay, you go too. And then we'll have Cecilia just heal up Deke. There you are. Waltz, just go. Just go. And then Alan can drop off Roy. Alright, this dude's still kind of slowly coming up towards us. Let's see, we still got that one, we got two, we got three, we got four, we got five more rooms left. I want Douglas in the front. Like that, and then we'll have an email like this. And then we'll over here. That dude's probably gonna reach me soon. And I can just have Percival pick up Roy after we seize this throne. Oh, there's another one now. Okay. Oh, he's actually catching up to me. Alright, let's hurry up and seize this. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm curious how far you will make it. I got five rooms left, pal! I want to hear more. No matter how many of your kind we defeated in combat, you humans continue to multiply endlessly. It's called reproduction, pal. You are eventually overwhelmed by the sheer number of you humans. It was then we decided to form a demon dragon capable of creating war dragons. War dragons? Soulless beings who know nothing but battle. Correct! The divine dragons, however, were opposed to the idea. They said it was an affront to the laws of nature. As we tried to persuade the Divine Dragons, they suddenly disappeared without a trace. Why? They probably chose to leave before we could take advantage of them. We never located the majority of the Divine Dragon tribe, but we were able to capture a single member of their kind. And that became the Demon Dragon. Precisely! The Divine Dragon Edun was to become the Demon Dragon. Yes, it hesitated, however, as the rift between its tribe and the rest of us widened. Hesitation. Such folly is reserved for you humans. It served no end. Serves no end. A hesitation impeded your plans. Eden was immature, but full of enough strength to fulfill our purpose. Its heart, however, wasn't with us. It would not follow our commands. So, that's why you destroyed our soul. Yes, we destroyed its soul so that it would unquestionably 
unquestioningly obey our every command. That's vile. That's enough for now. Show me more of your power if you want to hear the rest. This dude's a dick. Oh, hi there, man. I can't wait in front of the door. Okay, gotcha. You're dead. Fuck off. And... Boop! Finished. Not even bad. Good. Alright. Can Melody kill you? No. So we're trying to go in. Start slowly, wait. Uh, okay, yeah, I can't move up too much further. So if I go up like that, Celia go up like this, you're gonna rescue Roy, and then Alan will hold the rear. Oh boy, hi there! Okay, now there's three of them coming after me. Okay, you're attacking Melody. Fourteen is intimidating. I don't kill you unless I double you somehow. Ow. Alright, get with that multat. Do I double him? Yes, I do. It's dead. Get, like, no experience points again. We got number two, We're going after Deke. He has a 3% crit rate! He missed! For the first time ever, a bot actually misses an 80 plus percent hit! Wow. That was actually kind of nice. Wow, Deke, why are you not getting like any experience either? I know these guys are kind of low level, but jeez. Oh, you're only like level 15. Alright, that was... Douglas and Deke can just start moving on ahead. Waltz, pick off this mana cat. 56 HP. They're getting higher. That's bad. I may not be able to kill him in one turn. Good. Good! I got a level on Walt too. Not bad. Level 14! With more strength and speed. Skill, I mean, not speed. Only well, got more speed. Alright, Melody, just start moving on up. Wait, can I rescue Douglas? No, I can't. Of course he can't. And Nime, just come over here and... Oh, wait, you don't have a heal. You have a physique stats only. Cecilia can't reach you, so that sucks. Just gonna have to use a physique staff. She's like the only unit that really needs healing. Faye, keep going. First we'll get ready to drop off Roy. I'm actually drop off right now. And we'll move you into position so that we can pick him up afterwards. Okay. 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 Good. Douglas, get into position. Or as close enough to in position as possible. You know what? That works fine. Roy get into position two. Percival's gonna pick him up. And we're just gonna keep moving. Still got four more rooms left to go after this. This is easy, man. I just need to worry about... Oh, hi there. Okay, now there's four of them. I'm gonna take a sip of my water real quick. Excuse me. Alright. Seize the bone. So now what? You've proceeded at a good pace, but you have not won yet. Rest assured, we will reach you. Your soul is strong. What do you wish to hear next? You created the Demon Dragon. The Demon Dragon had the ability to create endless war dragons. Why then did you lose to the humans? The Demon Dragon created many war dragons for use in the battlefield. The tables were turned. Our victory was in sight. 
However, the humans soon found out about the Demon Dragon. They concluded that their numbers were not enough to defeat us. They will focus their efforts to forging weapons that would pierce our scales. They are what you humans call the legendary weapons. That much I know. The strongest human warriors were chosen to wield their newly crafted weapons. They came and attacked the sanctuary. However, the immense power of the weapon clashed with our own power. It caused something none of us had anticipated. What happened? The laws of nature started to collapse. Snow began to fall into summer, and summer, stars shone in the middle of the day. You made it cost the ending winter. I thought it occurred because the dragons release vast amounts of energy. Is that how your legends go? The power of the legendary weapons was used to restore order to nature. That's what I learned. So, in other words, we were the cause of everything bad that happened. How typical of you humans. But the truth is as I said. The legendary weapons were sealed away to prevent another disaster. The traps that were protecting them were meant to keep us out. You humans sealed them away, an uncharacteristically good decision. But you seem to be wielding them now. I wouldn't worry. The weapon's potency seems to have decreased since their initial forging. I doubt they can bring about another such disaster as they are now. Anyway, the Warping of Nature's Laws dealt a great blow to us dragons. How? That disaster is the reason we lost to the humans. I shall continue my story when you advance a bit further. Oh god. Oh, hi. He's right there. Okay. How much? 47. He's dead. Unless I miss. Cam Douglas. Yeah! Nice frontliner! Good work, Douglas. Come on, dude! Get love all place! Alright, and we'll just put Deke over here like this, and Melody over here like this. Wait, what the hell is this for? That just feels like a trap waiting to happen. And we'll just slowly start pulling in again. Too far in. That's a problem. Well, I mean, this is pretty basic. Just kill the guys one at a time. First, we'll pick up Roy, and don't wait there. We're gonna go on forward. Oh god, another one. All right, here we go. They're gonna keep on coming, slowly but surely. They're pouring in. You're gonna attack Deke, and then you're gonna the other one's gonna attack Melody. Okay. Ow. Damn Deke. Good. He's dead. Give me like that non-existing experience. Fourteen. I don't kill you in one hit. Still. That hurts. Well, there's no way I'm gonna miss, which is amazing for the first time ever. But then again, you know, there have been plenty of situations where I've had 100%. Could you please? I'd like to get Millity to level 20 before the end of this run. That would be kind of funny. Okay, we're almost there. Sort of. We're nearly there. You could say. So let's just keep on trucking. Let's heal up Deke while we're at it, too. Cause he really needs it. There you go, Deke. And you can just go on forward. Cecilia can go on... Well, actually, Cecilia. Can you kill this guy with four boys? Um, in theory, possibly, maybe so. But, you know, that's a gamble on its own simply because of the fact that Cecilia is not exactly nearly as good as most of my other units. So we're just gonna drop off Roy real quick. I mean... Let's be real here. Let's gamble it. Why don't we, right? I mean, 
it's not going to use her that much overall outside of healing. Okay, good. ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! I KNEW IT! I KNEW I WAS GONNA MISS! NOW I HAVE TO WASTE ANOTHER TURN TO KILL YOU! Alright, Melody, you know what? You, you can do it. I can't use Malta anymore, though. I need a crit. Oh, but of course, I'd never get a crit when I need it. And meanwhile, he's gonna hit me. There we go. He's dead. But yeah, Malta's use is far too low. And Melody is level 20. All I got out of that was defense. Are you serious? It's not even capped, right? Well, I'm not gonna find out, because these guys gotta do their thing first. They're getting dangerously close now. Alright, boys. Get moving. I'll just use her physique to heal up Melody, but I can't have her in the front lines anymore. Because I'm running out of multi uses, and I can't, re I can't really afford to use my last hammering yet. Get her back up to full. Get Cecilia going. I mean, I can always put one of these dudes to sleep. That is always an option. Um, yeah, they can't reach me yet. You can go on forward. And Roy. And... Shot there. Oh, God. This is actually getting bad. Oh well, gives me a chance to have Deke do some work instead. But we do need to start moving because they, they are catching up to me very quickly, and that's not good. Alright, still you good. You can fit in there. And then Faye can continue to slowly move forward. She's just here to be here at this point. And story time! You have come far! Perhaps I underestimated you. Please continue the story. When the order of nature collapsed, we dragons suffered the most. With nature weakened, we cannot maintain our dragon forms. And so, we sealed our power into gemstones that took human form. The dragon stones. Yes! We were utterly powerless against the humans. In human form, we were even more feeble than the humans themselves! The humans took the opportunity to slaughter us. Why did you not choose the? Why did you choose the form of humans? Why not some other shape? In the new order of nature, the human form required the least energy to transform into. The eight legends mercilessly crushed us as we are helpless in our human form. I too suffered deep wounds. Do you hate the humans because of that attack? Hate? Only humans feel such preposterous emotions. We battled for survival, and we lost. There was nothing more to our fight. However, we may yet be victorious. A human named Zephyr resurrected the Demon Dragon. Then Zephyr really did undo the Demon Dragon seal. That is correct. Show me if you're worthy to hear more. Oh, but of course. Right. Let's go, Percival. Oh, hi. They're catching up quick. Ugh, this is actually bad now. Okay, you're attacking Deke, but literally I don't care. You're dead. He missed! Fantastic! Bye! Oh my god, I crit him too. You had to do him like that, Deke. You had to do him like that. Jesus Christ, dude. It's not that serious, man. Alright, level 16! Okay, that's science. 
Alright, so what do we got here? 49, 50, and 58. Jesus. But we're almost there. There's only two more after this. So, Alan, let me test the theory. Can you actually kill them with the one side? Yeah! No, not actually at all, actually. No. Very much no. So, Deke, it's up to you, Palio. Because I don't have Melody over there. And Cecilia can't kill anything to save her damn life. Not gonna lie, she really can't. Because she kinda sucks. Not gonna lie, though. Alright. First of all, let's go. And then Melody, you're gonna have to just kinda hang out there. I gotta wait till these two man cats are out of the way before I can start moving in. And meanwhile, every two and their fucking grandmother is gonna keep on coming after me. I mean, I should be fine. Oh boy, here we go. 19. Ow. Yeah, I'm Deke. How many uses of Durandal do I have left? Because I may have to switch you out for someone else. Let's see. Nine. That's bad. Alright, we're gonna have to make those uses count. Because if I get really low, then I'll use the hammering staff on him. Because at least I know Deke can almost assuredly kill something in one shot. Douglas, you don't kill him. Though I can just have Nime come over here and literally send you to hell with Apocalypse. How the hell are you even supposed to dodge that? It's a giant black hole of death! That's like physically impossible to dodge. Alright. Alright, boys, keep on trucking. Keep killing those mana cats. And then we'll have Alan just hang out over here to pick up the boy. I mean, I really should have someone just carrying Faye around, since she's literally just kind of there. But, you know, it's just kind of a thing. Alright, drop off Roy. Get Melody over there, and then everyone's blocking her, so rip. Oh god. Jesus Christ, look at this, like, conga line of mana cats ready to, like, blow me to shreds. Well, at least they had to go the long, windy way that they had to go. Alright, good. Actually, Deke needs to heal. You know what? We can heal him with a frickin' men staff, like this. You can heal him with a men staff, while everyone else just keeps on going. And then next turn we'll have Roy go, and seize the throne. Cause I kinda want Douglas as my frontliner. So first of all, you can go on ahead. I really should've had him grab Faye, but it's too late now. And then I have Waltz, who has like no movement in comparison to most of my other units. Alright, Roy, just sit there for a turn. They have to go the long windy way, so it'll take them at least a turn to reach me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you keep on walking slowly. Alright, let's go. Let's have a talk. John, where are you? Hmm, I should have expected this is the man who defeated Zephyr. You may even have the chance to fight me personally. How did Zephyr know about the Demon Dragon? Surely you know that Harma, the, the eight legends found in Burn. I do. Do you also know that Harma chose to spare the Demon Dragon? Rather than killing it, he sealed it away. Yes, but I don't know why. Hmm. Let me explain. The eight legends defeated our leader, 
and made their way into the sanctuary to find the demon dragon. However, arriving at his chamber, all they found was a blank-eyed human girl. That was Edu. She didn't fight. The demon dragon had its soul destroyed to follow its, our leader's commands. With our leader dead, there was no commands to follow. Then what happened? The eight legends naturally hesitated. They had expected to find the most terrible of all dragons, but instead they found a mute girl. Knowing the demon dragon still had to be defeated, they readied their weapons. Idun must have reacted to their attacks out of instinct. It changed to dragon form and fought as the soulless war dragons do. Harmat, however, brandished a blade even more powerful than the legendary weapons. The Binding Blade. I don't know what you humans call it, but that must be it. When the blade cut the demon dragon's flesh, it fell unconscious rather than dying. Why didn't it slay Idun? The blade has a strange power that reflects the wielder's soul. Hama didn't want to kill her, so the Binding Blade reflected that feeling and spat her. He had apparently heard how the demon dragon was formed and felt pity for it. We dragons cannot understand that illogical feeling. He pitied her. In his soul, he wished to spare Edun. I personally would never hesitate to eliminate a threat as he did. Hama's soul changed the sword itself. After persuading the others that it should be spared, Harma built a shrine hidden deep in what you now call Burn. There, he bound the Dragon Dragon away using the blade and the fire emblem. After the founding of Burn, the shrine was protected by the royal family for generations. That it is, until Zephyr and Bounder, of course. How do you know all this? Did you witness it? No. After the battle, I hid myself to nurse my wounds. All I just told you, I've learned from Zephyr himself, who read it in ancient tomes kept by the Burn royal family. How did you meet Zephyr? You wish to know that now, do you? So be it. Come further, and I will tell you. Of course he's not gonna tell me right away. Oh, hi there, random man. Right in the fucking way. Um, yeah, don't. Send him back. He's dead. Boop! Give me that level too. Not even bad. Oh, 14! Oh my god, he got speed. The most useless stat for a general. Alright, Deke, get ready. Can you actually kill this one? I mean, yes, you could, in theory, but then you die. Like, just outright, you die. Wait, what's your Oh, I, that's what. Alright, Melody, just go on up there. We should be fine for a turn. Have Nime come over here. Faye, take your place. And we'll just kinda go on up. While we rescue Roy again. And keep on trucking. So now I'm gonna have to kill these two dudes. We're almost there, though. This is the second to last room, and then it's finale time. Oh, great, but these dudes are getting closer. Dangerously so. Oh, and you're gonna attack me. 19. Okay. Dead! Oh my god, that voice crack. Holy shit. That was horrid. Well, I'm all out of water now. It's, that sucks. Alright, Deke. Seven. I still got plenty of use left out of this thing. Kill this dude. There you go. Nice and one shot. Definitely gonna have to heal him though. Alright, Douglas, just keep on walking. And Millity, you too. Because we got a long ways to go to get to the boss. And Celia, can you kill him? No! Not at all, actually! So, just go. 
It's gonna take another turn for me to reach him. And meanwhile, I'm just gonna heal up Deke. Fucking wide of them! This is just getting ridiculous! All I want to know is the backstory! Alright. Duck, let's go. Deep, go. Oh, I can't rescue Deep. Well, that sucks. Okay, go. Celia, we're gonna use our hammering on Durandal, because it's clearly the weapon I've been using the most. Alright, there we go. Nice and fresh Durandal. Alright, well, well, actually, Faye, how much do you do to him? Oh, why? But you don't kill him, and that's kind of the thing. Okay, then. Walt. Send him packing. Good. There you go, Walt! You gotta kill today! Well, you've already killed a lot of them big manicats, but you know what I mean. Alright, Nime you can go to. Because those dudes are catching up fast. You know what? Grab Wait, like, they're right there. They're catching. They're coming. Grab off Roy and. Wait right there. <laughs> well, imagine if I had to fight all them, too! That would suck! Okay, go. Okay, go. And that should be all of them. Alright, here we are. We're at the end. Get everyone going in there. Like me, May. I really should have considered raising up Faye some more. Because maybe then she would have been able to kill that guy. Alright, I'll wait one more time. Oh my gosh. I may have made a bad decision here. I mean, they can't reach me still. It's gonna take them at least another turn. Okay, yeah, at most one turn. If I stall any longer, it's going to take him at least one turn. Actually. Yeah, at least one. Alright, so Douglas... And Deke... Melody's going to have to take a hit, though. Which kind of sucks, but... So it goes. So let's see what you guys say now. You have come far! I am in the next chamber! It has been ages since I've shown a human my true form. I have not left this sanctuary since the end of the scouring! You, you've been here that long? For 1,000 years! Having survived the scouring, I waited, healing my wounds. I waited for the resurrection of the demon dragon. For our chance of victory. At long last, that time came! The Demon Dragon Seal was broken, and I felt power flowing through my veins again. What does the Demon Dragon Seal have to do with your strength? The Dragon Sanctuary's power is intertwined with the Demon Dragons. With the Demon Dragon Seal, the Sanctuary, and myself were crippled. I see. After I recovered, I sought the person who had broken the seal. 
I used my illusions to seek him out and ask his intentions. With your humans ruling the world, I couldn't go in my true form. Wait, I thought that dragons lose most of their power in human form. How did you have the power to create illusions like this? This sanctuary is the only place that dragons maintain some power in human form. I am also a relatively powerful dragon. Even in human form, as long as I am in this sanctuary, illusions are a simple task. I lack the power to create war dragons like the demon dragon can, however. Your such led you to Zephyr. Yes, I located Zephyr by following the energy emitted by the demon dragon. I remember the exact words in the conversation we had. For what reason have you awakened the demon dragon? I asked him. He was the strange one. With a bored look on his face, he simply asked, Who are you? To which I answered, Dragon. To that, a smile crept onto his face. It was then he told me that he wanted to give the world to the dragons. Frankly, I didn't trust him. But I accepted him as the new leader of the Demon Dragon. He ordered it to liberate the world from humans. He wanted it to rule the world in their place. Zephyr is dead now. What is the Demon Dragon doing? It is in the Sanctuary, waiting for its chance to liberate the world. What? Even with her leader gone? Have you taken on the role of leader now? There is no need for that. Zephyr ordered it to proceed even in the event of his death. Edun will continue through until control is wrested from humans. She is nothing but a slave! Her soul was destroyed, now she's bound to a dead man's order. Do you pity her as Harma did? Foolish human, your kind makes no sense. Allow me to tell you one more thing. No matter how you may want it, dragons and humans will never be able to live in harmony. The differences between our two species are simply too great. That's not true! I know of a village where dragons and humans live in peace. I know a greater peace is possible with effort. Humans and dragons living together? Stop your lies! I will not humor such obvious falsehood! Now, step forward! Let us see whose strength is greater! Oh, he, he's stubborn. Fucking stubborn as a mule. Well, I guess the only way he's gonna listen is if we fight him, because he's right there and he has 80 HP with a freaking elixir! Cause that's fair! And he has a ton of resistance! His defense is astronomical though, so I might have to use the emails. Alright, so here we go. Wait, I don't have the- I don't have Malta equipped. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. I just realized. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot I don't have all 10 equipped. Melody's gonna take a hit for next to nothing. Fifteen. I'm doing like 24 to him. So I kinda need those crits. Okay. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> I hit just enough so I can kill him! That's cute! Oh my god, that was so unfair and stupid and unfair. That's funny. Alright, so let's go in. This is the last room. So we gotta make it count. And by make it count, I mean use a sleep staff right now. I'm probably... This guy. There you go, one last problem to deal with. My sleep broke though. And we'll just have Nime come over here and use the physique staff on Melody. So then we can have Douglas blow up the first guy, and then just have like Nime go in on the sec on Nime and Cecilia go in on John, because even though he has a lot of resistance, his defense is much higher, so I'd rather take him out in terms of resistance rather than defense, so that way I don't have to worry nearly as much about that. Plus he has elixirs, so yeah, he's automatically a gigantic fucking threat. I'm just looking at my notes real quick, because... 
We're going straight to the next chapter. I'm not stopping the recording after this. Oh my god. This is dangerous. Okay. Okay, you just made the biggest mistake of your life. He lives on one, though! Not like you do any damage to me at all. Whatever. Oh, you're not blocking me. Alright, Nime, how much do you do to him with Apocalypse? 54, but your hit rate is ridiculously shaky. What about you? 33, but your hit rate is ridiculously shaky. I'm gonna risk it. I have waited a millennium! My strength has recovered, and it is greater than ever! I can feel it! Oh my god, I actually hit him. This might actually work out. You know what? Go big or go home. We're doing it. Because if this hits, he's dead. No question. Truly unpredictable. That wasn't even fair! We take those! And you know what else we take? Uh. Do you have enough movement for you? No. I'll put you as close as I can. And then we'll just have you come over here. That was so fucking fair! You have one HP, I am using wool to kill you. Don't even need to use a Merc, all you say. Bye! And you're asleep for a number of turns. Four. I really want to get Roy some last second experience. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have Roy kill this dude, because these Mana Cats are not gonna reach me in like the next couple turns, I guess. They're all just gonna come after me when it doesn't even matter anymore. Their leader is dead. Oh, wait. Never mind. Edun's not dead. She's still very much alive. For now. You know what? I may just kill off this last mana cat because. without Roy, but. because, uh, yeah, there's no way. So let's use Cecilia. Let's just have her four poison. Just because. Give me the 10% crit. Ah, oh, I didn't get it. Oh, come on! She didn't even level up either. That's cute. Oh, well. We're done after this turn. There's no way these mad cats are gonna reach me. And we gotta wait like five minutes because there's so many of them now. All of them just waltzing about, doing their thing. Okay. Yeah, keep on coming. Keep on going, boys. Uh-huh. Alright, we're done here. Let's seize the thing, and move on to the finale. The demon dragon lies ahead. Roy. What's wrong, Faye? You look like you're about to cry. And... Am I evil too? Huh? When... When I get older, will I be a bad dragon too? Slow down, Faye. Where did you get that idea? That man said that dragons and humans can't live in peace. That wasn't true. You lived in the bot with humans, haven't you? But the demon dragon is a divine dragon like me. You're going to fight the demon dragon, but what about me? What if... When I grow up, I'm like the demon dragon? Then, you'd have to... Don't worry, Faye. I know you'll never be the, like the Demon Dragon. 
You'll always live with humans, with people like me. Do you really think so? Of course. I want you to help the Demon Dragon too. Help her? The Demon Dragon isn't active for her own free will. She had her soul destroyed. She is a slave! I... I don't want to kill her if I can avoid it. Your words are too big. I don't understand. I'm sure you'll learn what I mean once you get a little older. Hama posed a question when he found the Demon Dragon. And my intent to answer it. Alright, let's do it! <laughs>